Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another episode of Talking Balls. Today we have the Q-Star Tor Shrieksum. Have you had to read that? We've been talking about it all morning. Well, just to remind myself. So Q-Star Tor Golf Ball coming in around about $29.99. So it is, is it the best value ball we've seen so but far? For moderate swing speed. Because best value doesn't necessarily mean cheapest, does it? No, you know, it is still £30, give or take. But again, it's designed for lower club head speed. It is lower hurt, lower compression even, which helps you get a little bit more ball speed on those swings. And James, if you have come over from James's channel, you will have seen he has tested that out with trying to hit it full out and then trying to swing within himself. And we still don't do know it. the results of that because I've yet to do it. The and swing still... was up this morning, wasn't it? Yeah. I've, I've cleaned that as well. They'll be saying, because that was filthy when I showed it. Oh. So as long as they know. Good news, mine's clean. So I'm going to go in there with wedges and see what kind of reaction we're getting off wedges. I'm going to compare that to my current ball, which is a Pro V1, and I might even compare Who's it. Who's given to... you a Pro V1? Well, that's true. And compare it to the ball we used last week, which was around about a pound, and see how what difference do we see that it's nice and consistent? It's in between, or do we see we can get enough spin with this ball? Because it does state more. Spin around more green side spin, lower driver spin. What more do you want? And it's got a spin cover, spin shell, S shell, spin shell. Yeah, we've got a spin shell. Right, but let's see what it's like with a driver. Three piece urethane cover as well. Correct. Right. Oh, see ya. Luckily enough, there's another hole over there. It is a bit. Would. This isn't the straight flying one, you know. Oh, I can see that. That was a, a poor swing on that. Right. Not a bad strike. So I'm going to use the wind, Chris, and it a big high draw. Right. Like that. Keep coming. Drawing. It's rather social, but it'd be interesting to see Sociable. how... Sociable? Close that is. It was a 50 yards that way. Oh, it's not. So, I've actually really enjoyed this golf ball, primarily because it's designed for the masses, and that's why we do this series, isn't it, Chris, talking balls, like, yeah. it's nice to test a Pro V1 or TP5, those balls aren't for everyone, they're for the minority, even though the majority probably play them, what True. are your thoughts on this golf ball's price and its claims? Again, it just says it's a tour ball, which, you know, tour is used quite often, we know there was the AD333 tour as well, I believe, yep. you know, tour's used quite you know excessively this ball is softer it's lower compression so it is built for the majority of people who don't swing it as fast it is going to give you more ball speed price wise it's right in between you know your low end golf balls your, your pounder balls that we had on last week and obviously then a lot what are its competitors do you think at 30 pound a dozen probably the ad triple three no because they're like 25 20, tw yeah 20 aren't they but yeah there's we'll have a well we'll have to have a look Will it be a might be a true uh, a true feel, is it? Tight velocity. No, velocity is the cheaper one, isn't it? We'll 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 figure out this out shortly, and we'll go. Chris, Chris it. will put it on screen. I mean, we're going that wide to my golf ball. We're all Can right. Can I just so. comment as well that Chris said these were? What did you say? Friendly. Social. Social. There's nothing social about them. The only other fairway there, look. Very uh, very sociable these two fairways hit <laughs> but yeah it's a golf ball so far that's felt very soft it's been able to we've flighted a few shots and got enough spin with the ball so again people think oh it's a cheaper ball we're not going to get spin it's felt good off the putter and the shorter putts didn't feel great off the first putt and one big thing that James mentioned in his video was straight away we're hitting the same distance as we would with our ball mm -hmm. so there's not a massive difference there so I need all of this pitching wedge to get there. Pitching wedge? You've got 180. It's eight iron this, mate. Alright. Oh, please be in that massive bunker, please. No, it's... Is it right? Did that it? straight to the pin. I assessed where the pin was earlier. Did That's you? not why I hit it over here. No. The pin is right at the back. Right, so a small walk to James's. Um, the pin is right at the back. It's big clump of mud on here as well, so not only has it gone past Chris, but I think it's pitched past him by about 20 yards. So, uh, yeah. 
new road driver. Can we just explain its placing as well so people don't lose their mind in the comments? His placing. Right, he's playing all of 150 up there to that back. Do you reckon a hard nine? Yeah. This will get you back on that top tier. Let's see, go a little. Yep, that looks good. We'll take it. That's all over it, wasn't it? So, so, Chris, you've done some research. I have. It's coming out of the closest ball comparison is the uh, Titleist Tour Speed. Tour again. Tour Speed. So, again, that's coming out around about 34.99 a dozen. So, again, the word tour, as we said at the start of the video, is something that is overused, it's excessive. Do we see anybody on tour using it? The answer is simply no. So when <laughs> Sorry, I thought you made your point and walked off. So, I'm back in action. So looking at the numbers and when we compare them with spin-wise, that's what we start to see. Why aren't the Tour Pros using this? Why have they got Tour in the name? Is it just a gimmick to get you to buy it? Same with this low compression. It will give you more ball speed. But well, we're going to see with Jay on James's video. And why do they have to put Tour in? Why can't they just say it's a mid-range golf ball? It does this. It'll give you a little bit more distance because of the compression. Nice and easy. Now you can walk off. See ya. Right. Unfortunately, mine is not on the correct tier. There, shadows. Where's mine, Chris? Can you see it? Just. So I've just done my pitch mark at the top <laughs> there. So when we talk about spin again, we saw that on the first of James's video, we saw that it had a lot of spin back. And the same here, that's pitched up there and it's had too much spin. So. It's getting enough spin, but is it And that's gone that miles, control? hasn't it, for a pitching wedge, like 160, I know we're downwind. Yes, and again, that was an easy shot, felt like I didn't try and go at it, and the ball speed obviously was there. The key's be able to play that dead arm shot like I did, Chris, so it stops dead. I'll teach you one day. Nice, is it? Fair enough. Got the pace. Ooh. No, he hasn't. You had the line though. Just Excellent up. Putt. Again, a good training aid. I'll give you a switcheroo. Is that good? Uh, I'm going to see that, Chris. It's got to be good. Nope. Right, winter green, so I've not been given mine. You can see how close it is from this angle. If this goes in, I'll give you that. How's that? Oh, what a great offer. Yeah. <laughs> Leave mine there because it's not in your way before you start saying that. Not all to put in a few weeks, have I? No, it has been a while since we got a... Well, it's not a long putt here, but... And the weight goes on. You know what? It went exactly where I aimed it, just didn't move. That's winter golf, isn't it? I'll give you that. Right, there we go. Level. Level with one to play, the 18th. Are you jumping in the studio? We are going to jump in the studio now, show you the wedges, and we're going to compare that with the premium and a budget ball. Right, guys, so inside now we're going to test. I'm going to hit three balls with the Pro V, and I'm going to hit three balls with the Strixon Q Star Tour, and then we're going to have a quick look at the numbers and see how they compare. We're at 80 yards here on the 17th at Valderrama, and that's the shot I'm trying to play. A little bit of backspin there. Again, we'll go Q star again. We'll hit three in a row. Oh. Gave that a little bit more. That one went, how far did that one go? That carried 91, so a little bit longer there. That was more my swing than the shot. So let's get back to 80. So again, a little bit long. Let's have a look. That one went in at 89 yards. Carry had a little bit. It stopped pretty quick. So let's go three with the Pro V now. Again, we'll compare the percentage. Straight away, felt a little bit firmer, and that has come off a lot hotter for me. Lower, it? Just 
slightly lower. A little bit more spin. Carried 90, went 91. So I feel like I've got to take a little bit more off this. Again, better, a little bit of spin. Final shot here. Let's try and get one that a little bit shorter. That is very much like the first one. So let's have a look at the comparisons now. Okay, so looking at the uh, top three shots there, which was the Q star, we've got a launch angle of 31, spin on average at 9,400, descent angle 48, and again, average distance there, carry was 85 going 86. I did hit some a little bit longer, but we did that with both. So let's have a look now at the Pro V1. Okay, so launch angle, two degrees down or one and a half degrees down at 29.6 so launching a little bit lower with a little bit more spin but only 400 uh, 200 so 9630 descent angle was 46 so again that's a little bit lower by a degree and a half I was averaging out at uh, carry 83 going 84 so it was a little bit closer on average with there but a little bit more spin but very close only 200 uh, revs per minute of spin. We're not going to see much difference on that, so let's get back out on the golf course and see how it is and we finish the game. Right, come on. Over the corner. You know what, I've enjoyed the performance with the driver with this ball, especially out here on the golf course. It's been excellent. It feels wonderful as well. You watch this snap hook into good. trees. We can't see it on this video. Really? <laughs> we haven't got your feet or anything in. Haven't I? No. Right. Now we'll see the performance of this ball. Oh, How good is that? that? That's frightening. It's another tee gone, but... Really offended by these tees going, aren't you? Well, that's three and three holes. Can somebody please send James some more tees? Right, it's all about the line on this hole, as we know from previous battles. Wind's picked up. A low runner, right hand side of the fairway, not your best. Longer no. shot in from there. I think there'll be a three club difference in what we're hitting in. I think there might be. I fell over. Chris, right hand side of the fairway, I mean, it's not looking good for you on your channel because I've put about 60 on you there. You can see that white. It's a common trend to me in this video. I reckon that's probably my last two divots. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh he's gone, he's gone. The walking stick. <laughs> Right, long way in. What have you got? Six? Six iron again. That's Into what? the wind. The pins at the back. Set it off up the right. Straight in bunker. One down. It's a great strike. Fantastic strike. Just to the right, I think. It does come off like a bullet, doesn't it? It did come off there. That's the first one, actually, that's jumped a bit. Yeah. I don't know if that's off the lie. That did launch a little bit higher than I wanted to play it, but um, it's been a good ball. Yeah. Right, long walk over to mine. We'll, uh, should we pace it out? I'll, we'll be tired after, get our steps in. Right, so a very good drive into Ooh, this wind. I'm a bit tired now, Chris, after that. Very good drive into that wind. So again, ball speed for James, interestingly. It seems to be a little bit higher, I would say. It does, doesn't it? I'm quite enjoying it as a ball, especially for 30 pound a dozen. Right, I've got 130, 140, but it's a really strong one. I'm going to chip a seven, Chris. Chip a seven. Try and keep it below the trees and trundle up, hopefully. Trundle up? Martin Brundle. That's a good looking shot. Oh, be as good as you look, please. That's exceptional, isn't it? That's about 10 feet. I'd say it's good. I mean, exceptional. Can yeah, we talk through this divot, though? A bit ahead of yourself. If we want to talk about exceptional, because your divot went that way, whereas if you look at mine, it's literally pointing right-hand side, like we said, coming off the lie. It points wherever you want to put that stick. I mean, that's not even in line with it. It is, look. Anyway, moving Entrance on. Entrance there. Good shot. Well, that's another one uh, heavily inside tour average for the shot. Chris, that's a 
Miss Green for yourself. I think it's. I think uh, it was a. This was the culprit. Yeah. Yeah, it stayed right. Did balloon a little bit higher than I wanted. I think it would have got the distance, but I, we haven't had a chip shot actually with it. Not a short one. I have on the first up and down hitching wedge. Get it running. That's, ooh, I'll tell you what, I thought it was good, but it's uh, you want to get your putter out for that. It was a good line, wasn't it? Right, left myself a good six, seven foot. It yeah, felt soft off the chip, it, it didn't feel bad at all, really. I think, feel wise, it's, uh, it's as good as anything, really. I'd say it's the best feeling ball all round that we've. Uh, that we have tested and for the price it is a ball that you know a, a lot of people will use right come on this is for a victory isn't it on the last sneak it just a little outside right number pace chris will probably miss that coming back anyway for glory yes straight down your foot marks there it's like he'd made a little bit of a funnel get in Oh, that makes it even better. That makes it even better. Hey right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Q Star Ball, Q Star Tour. Again, a lot of balls on the range for Shrixen. We've just got to figure out which one's for you, but this one, probably the best mid range ball we've tested.